Hey, I'm Eric Lokeach, and you're watching FitnessBusinessInterviews.com, home for fitness entrepreneurs, strength coaches, and trainers looking to start, build, and grow their fitness businesses. And what I've got for you today is an awesome interview with a bunch of trainers on the topic of how to fire your clients. Now, if you're a trainer, strength coach, or anybody else who's had to work with clients for some period of time, you know that there's always somebody there that's going to end up causing a little bit of a problem could cause your business to slow down and just kind of give you some headaches. So what I did is I went out and asked these trainers exactly how do they handle that problem. And the majority of them talk about how they fire their clients. And what I did is I've got all their answers and I put them together for you in this interview. said in 26 years, I have never fired a client. And I think what happens a lot of times is is we as business owners sometimes forget what this is all about and we have to remember that this is all about our clients and a lot of times trainers get frustrated because uh, they don't really listen to what their clients are telling them and so i think it allows them to get frustrated it costs a whole lot of money i think up to six times as much to get a new client than it does to keep an existing client so i would just say uh you should never hire a client or bring on a client uh, because you just need the money. Let them know straight up. Just be honest with them. I usually give like two chances. The first one is a warning and letting them know like, hey, listen, you're not pulling your own weight. And the second is just letting them know, hey, I'd rather you not pay and come here and do what you want. A lot of times they'll come back after two months or so and beg you to take them back. To be honest and to put it on us, not them, just saying, listen, you do really well in our sessions, but I just don't think we're clicking. And there's just been a lot of conflict. It's just not working out for us. Not to say you're not a great person, but I just don't think this is gonna work out. So I think it's best if we just nullify our contract and uh, you know, wish you the best of luck. I tend to send out an email broadcast letting everybody know that it's something that's going to be happening over the course of you know a 30 or 60 day period usually i kind of lead up to it with um you know or proceed it with a price hike um for new members coming in saying hey we're getting full and you know we're going to be weeding out some of the bad eggs and raising the prices for new people coming in so in the past i've you know when you deal with clients that take away from your peace of mind for whatever reason, um, it's good to just set set some boundaries and set some ground rules that they have to stick to, or you know, tell them you know this it's this way, or you know, hit the road. Telling them the brutal truth and being as honest as possible. Uh, offering if there's something that they could change about their attitude, and if they're not willing to change that. I would say, I mean, hey, listen, you're not a good fit in my program anymore. And I, I could recommend you to other gyms or programs, but uh, you're not going to work in my personal training business. Obviously, the client and I aren't a good fit. So instead, what I've done is I've found another trainer that I think is going to be a better fit. Uh, the other trainer usually jumps on it because they're going to snag some bucks. And more often than not, the client will go with it. And I mean, you know, I'm honestly trying to find somebody who's that better fit. I'll just literally ask them, like, is everything okay? Is everything cool? Are you happy? What can I do for you? And uh, they'll bring it up because they're obviously frustrated. You can feel it. And if they're not into it, it's okay. And I let them know. I say, hey, you know, training here isn't always right for everybody. What can I do to help you out? If it's, if it's something I can do, great. If it's another facility or another service, I know everybody in the area. So I want to make sure you're happy. That's my number one goal. Now what I do is I have a goals consultation that goes over their goals to make sure they match up with the type of trainer that I'm you know, going to be best with. If I have to fire them, it's more of me delegating them to another trainer so I can still make money off of them. Really, it's simply sitting down with someone and saying, look, is this, do you really think that this is the best program for you? Is there something else that I can help you get involved in that's going to be more comfortable for you, that's going to help you achieve your goals, that might fit your lifestyle a little bit better? And just put it on them. Just let them know that you know, your business is growing. You have more manage managerial things that you need to take care of. You need to keep certain time slots available in your schedule for consultations so you can't fill it up with more clients. Just let them know that whoever you pass them on to is gonna actually do a better job than yourself. 
for me, it's just straight up honesty. I mean, I think that's always the best policy, especially for me. I have a bad memory, so if I'm lying all the time, I can't remember it. So you, you gotta, you know, you gotta remember your lies. I can't do that. So I think it's just straight up, you know, just it's not working out for either one of us. You're obviously not happy. I think you can find better fitness options out there for both. I think it's the best thing for both of us. Okay, so you've just seen the interview, how all these fitness pros go about handling their pain in the ass clients, whether they fired them or found a way to work around them. And what I want for you, what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down and I want you to leave a comment on the best way that you've found that you've been able to fire your clients or work with them. Okay, it's going to be information that's going to help all of us. It's something that I'm really interested in seeing on how you've been able to handle it. But until the next time, you're watching fitnessbusinessinterviews.com.